Welcome back to the channel. A massive new eShop sale has arrived, dubbed the Partner's Spotlight Sale. Lots of games are on sale, perhaps maybe too much. But don't worry, I got you covered with today's video. I've stripped the sale down to about 20 or so deals that are considered to be some of the very best from the sale, whether it's due to price, value, or just plain quality of the game. Anyway, enough of my blabbering, let's get on to the list. Disco Elysium is a narrative-driven RPG game where you play as a detective who has lost his memory and must solve a murder case. Now this is a role-playing game that does things a bit different from most other RPGs on the Switch or elsewhere. Instead of focusing on combat like most games, it focuses on events that are affected by skill checks and dialogue choices. There's 24 skills of the protagonist that can affect the game's story and events. Because of this, the story and outcomes can change wildly depending on what skills you favor. It's a surprisingly deep game that goes beyond what most tabletop style RPGs offer with a heck of a story attached to keep you interested. The Final Cut Edition brings in voice acting for the game, which for this game with the amount of text going on, that's pretty impressive. In addition, there's new quality of life improvements as well as new content to help further flesh out the game. If you like tabletop style RPGs, or you're looking for a meaty story to sink your teeth into, then check out Disco Elysium, the Final Cut on Switch. It's only $11.99 right now, which is a brand new low price for it on the eShop. Publisher Play On has a number of games for dirt cheap, but the following two bundles are my personal recommendations. Saints Row, the big purple package, contains both Saints Row the Third and Saints Row 4 in their complete definitive forms, with all the DLC in one bundle for $4.49. That's like $2.25 per game. That's an insane deal for two fun classic open world games that will make you laugh. Plus, they got online co-op. Make sure a buddy gets the games too. Metro Redux has a Metro 2033 Redux and Metro Last Light Redux in one bundle for $4.49 too. These are two fun, horror-themed, story-driven first-person shooters that are worth playing whether you like horror games or just looking for a good shooter on Switch. Finally, not a bundle, but still good and cheap, there's Red Faction Guerrilla, a open-world, third-person shooter that's notable for its destructible environments. In fact, for me, that's half the fun, just blowing stuff up in the game. Beyond the single-player story mode, there's the ability for multiplayer play, with up to 8-player local play, and up to 16 in online multiplayer. It's not too shabby, for just $2.99, an insane value for such a fun game. I just gotta say, one of Switch's best JRPGs is Nino Kune 2 Reverend Kingdom. The Prince's Edition on Switch looks and plays well, but more importantly, it's a terrific game with a good story and cast of characters, and the gameplay overall is fun, even with it dropping the monster aspect from the first game. It's on sale right now for $9.59, which is a steal to be honest, and that's the cheapest I've ever seen it go for on Switch, whether it be digital or physical. I just want to throw this next game in, because it's so cheap that it's almost a no-brainer to pick up at its price. At $5.99, Shining Resonance Refrain is a fun JRPG to pick up from the partner sale. It's an action-based game with a lot of gameplay comparable to the Tales series from Bandai Namco. Now, it's not the best RPG on the system, I don't want to oversell it, but for just 6 bucks, it's hard to beat at that price. I got a soft spot for Persona 3, especially the portable version, because that's the first version of the game I played through from start to finish. While not every aspect of the game has aged wonderfully, the cast of characters and story still holds up, as well as the tried and true gameplay, making it a worthy play. In addition, it's a bit darker than the later two Persona games. It acts like an in-between from the very dark, horror-themed Megami series proper and the later, lighter-in-approach Persona games, and it's something I've always appreciated. 
Anyway, it's on sale for $11.99, which is a new low price for it. It's very much worth getting at just $12. Persona 4 by itself isn't on sale, but if you don't own either game, you can get both Persona 3 and Persona 4 together for less than $22, which breaks down to less than 11 bucks per game. That's an insane deal, especially considering Persona 4 Golden is one of the better RPGs ever made. Persona 4 Arena Ultra Max is a fighting game by Arc System Works that features the characters of Persona 4 as well as Persona 3 dueling against each other. Its gorgeous, fast-paced, and combo-deep gameplay is a treasure, and even if you're not a big Persona fan, as a fighting game, it's a pretty impressive game, and one that should not be missed out on. It's on sale for just $8.99, which is a brand new low price for it via the latest eShop sale. While we're on the topic of fighting games by Arc System Works, let me bring to your attention two games from their famous Blaze Blue series. The first one is a spin-off that features characters from the Blaze Blue franchise facing off against characters from Persona 4, Ruby, Under Night in Birth, Akana Heart, and more. The special edition of the game is the way to go, as it contains a ton of DLC, basically all the extra characters, which is what you want. It hasn't been on sale in the eShop in a long, long time. This is the first time it's been on sale in over a year, and for $12.49, it's by far the cheapest it's ever been. Now there is a version of the game without any DLC for 5 bucks, but trust me, stick to the special edition, it's worth the value. Blaze Blue's Central Fiction is the fourth game in the series, and the special edition on Switch is pretty much like the last game I talked about, as it contains all the DLC, extra characters, and updates, basically the final, ultimate release of the fun arcade fighting game. Just like the other Arc System Works games, this is a visual treat, and it's fun to pick up and play too, but of course it has deep and rich gameplay that is sure to please fans of fighting games. It's on sale for $12.49 until April 16th. The Sega Ages series of games, developed by M2 for the Switch, feature classic games with highly accurate emulation, but they also include additional features that take the games far beyond what most classic re-releases include. For example, in Fantasy Star, they added features such as modes that rebalance the game, and an in-game map, and in Virtual Racing, they include 8-player online multiplayer, as well as settings to adjust the game that were not present in the original arcade release. Now, not every game is on sale from the Sega Ages series, but most are, and I have the full list on screen for you. If I had to recommend some must-gets from the set, it'd be Fantasy Star, which is a terrific 8-bit RPG, Virtua Racing, which sees its best version here on Switch, and Thunder Force and Lightning Force, which are two awesome shooters. While it's not my favorite Sega collection ever, for just sheer value, Sega Genesis Classics is a good deal at just $5.99. There's over 50 games included, from beat-em-up games, to Sonic games, to RPGs, to puzzle games, arcade stuff, and more. That's a heavy amount of games for just $6. It's worth checking out if you love the 16-bit era of gaming. Speaking of classic games, let's not forget the Konami collections, which are on sale for $3.99 each. In each collection, you get a bunch of games for just a few bucks. The Contra Anniversary Collection contains 10 games from the series. Contra Arcade, Super Contra, Contra for the NES, Contra for the Famicom, Super C, Contra 3, The Alien Wars, Operation C, Contra Hard Corps, Super Probotector, and Probotector. It's an awesome collection, covering almost everything from the series, from the early arcade to the 8-bit and 16-bit eras. The Castlevania Anniversary Collection has Castlevania, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest, Castlevania 3, Dracula's Curse, Super Castlevania 4, Castlevania The Adventure, Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge, Castlevania Bloodlines, and Kid Dracula, which for the last game, it was never released in English before until it arrived on this collection. If you're a fan of the Castlevania series, it's a must-own for 4 bucks. Hell, for the virtual console back in the day, you'd be spending more for just one game, and here you get a bunch. 
And finally, this is the Arcade Classics Anniversary Collection, which really should not go by that title. It should be Arcade Shoot 'em Up Classics Anniversary Collection or something because the majority of the game are shoot 'em ups. Bad naming aside, if you like classic shooters, especially from Konami's catalog, it's not a collection to sleep on. It has Scramble, Trin B, Nemesis, also known as Gradius, Salamander, also known as Life Force, Typhoon, also known as Ajax, Vulcan Venture, also known as Gradius 2, and Thundercross. The lone non-shooter in the collection is Haunted Castle, an arcade entry in the Castlevania series. Again, for just $3.99, that's a darn good deal if you have an interest in these games. Cult of the Lamb was one of my favorite games that I played last year. I got hooked during the free trial that Nintendo did and ended up going after a physical copy. Anyway, this game has you taking control of a lamb and building your flock of followers while exploring the four regions after becoming saved from death by a strange being. In order to succeed in your mission, you're going to need to preach to your cult, feed them, and sacrifice them. Yeah, things are going to get bloody. It's unlike anything out there. It's a game that's a bit crazy on paper, but it ends up being a pretty addictive experience as you balance your cult life and beat down the horrors in each region. Another impressive thing for the game is the updates. They just keep releasing huge updates for the game and add a bunch of content, including one that was just released around two months ago. So if you get this game, expect more stuff to come. The special edition includes the game, and the DLC pack that had some extra follower skins, and it's on sale for $17.99 during the partner sale. On sheer value, you cannot deny the Assassin's Creed Anniversary Edition Mega Bundle for the Switch. This bundle includes Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Assassin's Creed Revelations, Assassin's Creed 3, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation Remastered, and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and Assassin's Creed Rogue. Plus, this collection has all the single-player DLC stuff and extra stuffs like movies that help tie in the story. That's a lot of stuff for 40 bucks. One of the best puzzle games on the Switch, and actually one of Switch's highest rated games, is Tetris Effect Connected. It has a 94 Metacritic for the Switch version, which is insane for a puzzle game. After playing the game though, it's no surprise. It's a terrific game based on the experience alone. As you play, the background changes and moves to the beat and your actions in game, as well as the music changes, and it's a treat for the eyes and the ears. The connected version adds to the original experience by introducing fun, co-op, and competitive multiplayer options, including cross-platform online multiplayer and a new mode among the many new ones included called Connected, where up to three players can team up and connect their Tetris matrices to take on the computer. It's $19.99 on the eShop, and while it's not the cheapest puzzle game on Switch, it is one of the very best, and one that you'll keep going back to again and again. If you got a Switch, and you love RPGs, then you have to check out The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. It's a game with some of the best world building in the genre, and its story will keep you engaged for hours and hours throughout the massive length of the game. Now a lot of people ask, why get the Switch version? Well for one, and this is one that most are unaware of, the cross save feature makes this version a wonderful companion to other versions as you can take the adventure on the go and take that save and play it on another platform like PC if you wish, or vice versa. Now that's exactly what I've done, and considering the length of the game, with the complete edition, which includes those two massive expansions, it's something I welcome as I can knock out stuff on portable mode, and then go play on PC when I want a nice full screen experience. On top of the cross save feature, they've added stuff like post processing options to the Switch version that allows you to adjust the visual look of the game, and you can actually make it look better than what it was originally released for the Switch. Beyond all that, Witcher 3 is an amazing experience. It's truly amazing that they got this game to work and run on the Switch. And it's great story, and cast of characters, and terrific world building. It's just a game that is worth playing by any means. Every time I play Grid Artisport, 
I get quickly reminded why I consider this game to be one of the best racing games for the platform. What Codemasters have done to make this game look so good on the Switch is pure magic. Now you might remember this game from the PS3 and 360 era, but note this game is just not a simple port. They took the game and essentially remastered it and custom fit it to the Switch, and is considered to be the very best version of the game. There's a high-res textures pack to download, it's free, that helps to make the game look absolutely gorgeous. As you can tell with the video here, it's one of the best looking games for the system. In addition to that, there's a ton of control options, including GameCube controller support for analog triggers, and of course the game comes with a bunch of adjustments and settings to custom fit the experience to your needs. It's on sale for $24.99, which while that means it's not the cheapest game in today's sale, it's still worth picking up at that price because of how good the racing experience is. Anyway, that's it for today. Make sure to check out this past Wednesday's video if you haven't yet. There's a bunch of sweet games in that sale that you do not want to miss out on. Thank you for watching and subscribing. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll catch you on the next video.